And I've been investing in Africa now for about five years, and there are a number of myths I've come across and, and try to address. Well, one big misperception is that a lot of people who are not familiar with Africa think that many more countries are involved in conflict than they are. You know, a lot of people think that Africa is one country and that what applies, you know, in one part of Africa, what they may have heard on the news, is generally applicable across the whole uh, continent. When they hear about something in Central African Republic, for some reason uh, they say, well, maybe, you know, this wouldn't be the time to go to Liberia, uh, which, of course, for people who've been to Africa seems kind of silly. Um, but you would be surprised at how many potential investors, uh, particularly portfolio investors, uh, are a little bit swayed by that. There's um, a lot of bad press about Africa. So what we've seen over the years are many stories about uh, genocide and killings and troubles and problems. And um, there are some of those things, but I think that the risks have been um, overplayed, particularly in the minds of Americans. There's, there are over 50 countries within Africa who speak over four languages, formal languages. There, there are thousands of indigenous native languages across cultural issues, religious issues, religious issues, tribal issues, all exist within the continent. And therefore, it's very difficult for one to just bucket everybody into one basket. Uh, each one is very different and very individual. Um, so to cover Africa is, is uh, you can't. You can't cover Africa. We believe we can take a template and then superimpose that template, hook, line, and sinker, onto the destination invest, invest, investment place. And it usually doesn't work that way. There are misperceptions. Why is that? One, the languages are different. You know, they anticipate, for example, the English is spoken broadly, and we know in Central and West Africa it is not spoken broadly. In Nigeria, Ghana, and other places it is. East Africa and South Africa, of course, English is the language. So language is a big issue. The second issue is, you know, you have 54 countries. And so that means 54 different sets of tender documents, 54 set different sets of legal regimes. And so there are misperceptions about, wow, do we even want to bother with trying to do business in countries that differ so much? One of the things that people don't understand uh, is how much we need Africa. And we, really any other country, whether that's the United States, whether that's Europe, or whether that's China. A lot of times Americans think that, um, that if they go into uh, an African country, they will lose their money, that um, there's rampant corruption, that there's no rule of law, uh, that there's no climate to uh, encourage investment, um, that there's no uh, system set up so that people don't want to invest, they're scared. I think another myth about Africa is that it's impossible to do business because it's corrupt. Um, I, you know, you do need to be very careful about which partners you pick. Um, but it's very, you know, I, I've never faced it personally. Um, and I think part of it is by going after the right projects and the right deals. The kind of um, comments that come out that we have to correct, one is that it's too risky to do business in Africa. It's too unprofitable. It's very difficult, it's fragmented, some of which are, of course, true. One of our misperceptions that we have to deal with is what's the size of market? And to try to encourage them to look again, not just at one country, but cross-border in terms of the opportunities. I'd say that a lot of that misperception uh, tends to be driven by uh, uh, the news that you see in the headlines. Um, you know, there is, uh, to a certain extent, in our view at least, um, uh, a little bit too much hesitance um, that we see from uh, the wider investor community in investing in Africa. There is a trust deficit. I think this is the biggest uh, impediment uh, to investment uh, in, into Africa. The understanding of just how much this economy matters to the rest of the world, how much the rest of the world is powered by a lot of what happens here, is not fully understood.